Yeah. Well, it's Jan's tips of the month. <laughs> Jan, we're in your garden. Yeah. And we're so excited to be back out here. Yeah. And we have the lemon. <laughs> yeah, you're getting used to this now, aren't you? I am now, getting used you? to the lemon, yeah. <laughs> well, there's one lemon left that's going to try to mature. There were four earlier in the season. Now, though, the exciting part is, is that right here, there's like five more lemons. Yeah, a bunch so, of new babies coming yep, on in there. Yeah, there's a bunch. So we'll see if they hang on or not. I'm going to fertilize them again to see if I can get it to uh, bloom and maybe set some more. So we'll go from there. But you had a lot of lush new growth coming on too. Yeah, so. well, you sh you should have seen it a couple years ago. <laughs> <laughs> so at least it's improving. Right. Um, the other thing we want I want to at least mention is that uh, if you have a lawn, uh, set the mower up a notch and right. mow it a little taller so that it actually the grass shades itself and you aren't gonna it's gonna stay right. greener with if all, you with want all it this to. heat you know when it's right. real short like that it's just you're going, gonna going through you're a gonna use water. less um less water that way yeah. that's, good that's just a notch um the other thing is many of us are familiar with indian meal moths yes. this came out of a cupboard in the garage that i have uh bird seed in okay and peanuts and squirrel food and all sorts of things. You can buy them. There are several different kinds. This one is a, a taro. This one is a biosafe, I think. Um, anyway, what it is is just a, a little cardboard tent. And then inside it has, a, in a package, you have to open it up, a little pheromone. Okay. Uh, and you stick it in here. And all of the male moths are attracted to that pheromone. And they get stuck. and takes about two weeks and you really okay. stop the whole life cycle. Which is good. And, they and, why, can and get, why do we not want those moths? Because they'll get into rice and dog food, cat food, right. bird seed, uh, flowers, any cornmeal, anything. Right. I had one uh, nail a hole in a package of chili oh, one wow. time. So they'll eat pretty much anything and can be a real pest. Right. But so, so I definitely want to make sure it, that we're it works. It's take, taking no care chemical, of no anything other than the gets the moth itself. Uh, this time of year, a lot of times, this is basil right. and it's bolting, and which will happen when the weather gets hotter. Right, I've noticed that on mine. Yeah, and so if you want to keep your basil growing, instead of letting it go to seed, you just snap out the top and right. it'll start leafing out again. Right, because then it's putting all the energy back into the right. leaf production as opposed right. to... Right, and to but you can also chop this up and use it as basil, so... Right. Uh, you don't have to do that, but spinach will bolt and lettuce will bolt. Right. A lot of cilantro things, and a lot right? Of a lot of things will bolt, and um, you can either snap it off and see if you can keep that plant going, or it's time to replant another batch. Right, and then you've you've done some re reseeding, replanting. I have. Them. I've planted beets and kale and carrots and mescaline, uh, so I hope to have another. Right, as, uh, as the first round of things are yeah, coming out, yeah, we're get, getting exactly. our garden ready for the, exactly. for, for the fall. And then I've been harvesting some herbs. This is rosemary. I, I cut it back. I left a lot of the plant, but cut it back. And what I do is lay it, I can lay it out. You can use a dehydrator, um, all sorts of different ways. But I just like to wrap it up with a rubber band and hang and it up. Hang and it. I leave one in the kitchen and use it as I can. And then the rest of them I'll uh strip it all off when it's dry and just store it right and jan i see you have a new set of wheels with you today i do um i, I needed the table for all my stuff but um i'm ready next week uh to get a second new knee i'm uh. thrilled <laughs> so i'll be ready for september tips well good so i'll we'll, be we'll raring, get you right back raring up and to we'll go and then i can actually kneel down in the garden and it doesn't hurt so much so um, i'm thrilled well, get good. a new knee and i'll see you when i'm better that's great well, well congratulations on the new Thank knee you. and we'll see you in the garden again next month <laughs>